Test 5. Listening test. In the listening test, you will be asked to demonstrate how well you understand spoken English. The entire listening test will last approximately 45 minutes. There are four parts, and directions are given for each part. You must mark your answers on the separate answer sheet. Do not write your answers in your test book. Part 1. Directions. For each question in this part, you will hear four statements about a picture in your test book. When you hear the statements, you must select the one statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Then find the number of the question on your answer sheet and mark your answer. The statements will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Look at the example item below. Now, listen to the four statements. A. They're wiping off the window. B. They're shaking hands. C. They're looking to the same direction. D. They're handing over documents. Statement B, they're shaking hands, is the best description of the picture. So you should select answer B and mark it on your answer sheet. Now part one will begin. Number one. Look at the picture marked number one in your test book. A. The woman is using her hands to explain something. B. The woman is waving her hand to catch a cab. C. The woman is waiting for the traffic light to cross. D. The woman is looking at the people standing on the street. Number two. Look at the picture marked number two in your test book. A. A man is carrying a bag on his shoulder. B. A man is developing photographs. C. A woman is wearing a short-sleeved shirt. D. A woman is wearing sunglasses. Go on to the next page. Number 3. Look at the picture marked number 3 in your test book. A. The chandeliers are being turned on. B. The picture is hanging on the wall. C. The group is moving in the same direction. D. The wall lamps are being painted. Number 4. Look at the picture marked number 4 in your test book. A. Steps lead up to the building. B. A tree trunk is blocking the road. C. The tree has lost most of its leaves. D. Some people in front of the building are talking in a small group. Number 5. Look at the picture marked number 5 in your test book. A. People are looking at the clock tower. B. The ships are anchored in the port due to the storm. C. There is a cruise ship crowded with passengers. D. Many skyscrapers rise in the distance. Number 6. Look at the picture marked number 6 in your test book. A. The aircraft has landed at the airport. B. The airplane is preparing to land. C. Some passengers are exiting the aircraft. D. The airplane has taken off from the airport. Go on to the next page. Part 2. Directions. You will hear a question or statement and three responses spoken in English. They will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Select the best response to the question or statement and mark the letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. Now, let's begin with question number seven. Number seven. When is the next opera scheduled to begin? A. This afternoon at 3.30. 
B. No, that's not a good one. C. They're moving on Saturday. Number 8. Who will be in charge of the project? A. I'll ask Mr. Daniel to do it. B. The battery needs to be charged. C. In between two members. Number 9. I'm going shopping around dinner time. A. The store is crowded with customers. B. Yes, very much. C. Where are you going? Number 10. Our profits increased this year, didn't they? A. See you in a few months. B. Yes, we did it. C. No, we didn't tell them. Number 11. There's so much to do. A. Right, the work is months behind schedule. B. There is severe traffic congestion. C. I haven't seen them so far. Number 12. Would you like to read the novel when I finish? A. Thanks, but I already bought a new one. B. Yes, would you fix it? C. No, I can lead a team. Number 13. Did the container arrive yesterday? A. The evening shift. B. I don't think so. C. No, she won't. Number 14. What will you do with the extra coffee makers? A. They can go in the warehouse. B. Yes, we do. C. Seven sets of copies. Number 15. What's included in the agenda of the general meeting? A. Didn't Louise give you the list? B. I generally communicate by email. C. Actually, I met with Jean this morning. Number 16. Who will be giving the next lecture? A. Yes, it's a nice lesson. B. I'm sorry, I have no idea. C. At 11 o'clock. Number 17. Should I look into my financial report with Mr. Peter before submitting it? A. I don't think he's in today. B. The contract needs to be examined. C. On the 11 o'clock finance news. Number 18. When should I announce the winners of the contest? A. At the award ceremony. B. I've searched everywhere. C. In the manager room. Number 19. Wouldn't these activities be good for our health? A. Attend the health fair. B. I think they're excellent. C. To the gym. Number 20. What plans does the retail store have for the 30th anniversary? A. Yes, a vacation plan. B. There'll be a big sale. C. Please make 15 cards. Number 21. Haven't you found your luggage yet? A. I've looked everywhere. B. It's a new bag. C. Find out the size of the baggage. Number 22. Which sofa do you think goes well in this room? A. 
The couch is comfortable. B. Either would be fine. C. I'll see you in my house. Number 23. I'd like to cancel my ticket to London. A. All the rooms are booked. B. For many reasons. C. May I have your name, please? Number 24. Why don't you come over for lunch on Saturday? A. Sorry, I'm going on a business trip. B. A new restaurant opened downtown. C. It won't affect us for a while. Number 25. Can you please tell me where I can buy a baseball ticket? A. That's 6 p.m. B. I was supposed to play a game. C. From the machines by the wall. Number 26. Would you like me to make a recommendation? A. A stamp and a postcard. B. Yes, they look alike. C. Do you have time? Number 27. You and Jinsu attended the same high school, didn't you? A. I'd rather study in the classroom. B. We can still sign up for the training course. C. No, but we already knew each other then. Number 28. Why are the lights so bright in here? A. The plumber needed good lighting to fix the leak. B. Try the machine on the left. C. Light brown would be good. Number 29. The new Thai restaurant on the corner has delicious food. A. They're almost finished eating. B. Yes, at 10.30 today. C. Yes, but I prefer a sandwich for lunch. Number 30. Should we ask Human Resources to start advertising the new job openings? A. Let's wait until next Monday. B. Yes, he started last week. C. No, the conference room. Number 31. Are you ready to leave or can you finish drawing up the meeting agenda for me? A. Not too much. B. I'm going to attend the meeting. C. Yes, I can help. Part 3. Directions. You will hear some conversations between two or more people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversation will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 32 through 34 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Sunny. Have you booked your train to the conference in Lyon yet? I'm trying to decide whether to take the 11 o'clock train on Tuesday evening or the 9 o'clock train on Wednesday morning. I'll take the Tuesday evening train. I want to take a rest before the conference begins on Thursday morning. Sounds great. I'll see if I can get on the same train. You should try to make your reservation soon. It was nearly sold out when I made mine this afternoon. Number 32. Why are the speakers going to Lyon? Number 33. When is Sonny's train leaving? Number 34. What does Sonny suggest? Questions 35 through 37 refer to the following conversation. 
Excuse me, I made a reservation for five people yesterday. The name is Reynolds. Is the table ready? One moment, sir. Sorry, I can't find that name on the list, and our policy is to take reservations for groups with no fewer than seven people. Yes, I am aware of that, but the person I spoke to on the phone said that he could arrange a table for five for lunch. It's a really important lunch meeting. Is there anything you can do? Don't worry, we have a few tables available for five or six people. Follow me, please. Number 35. What is the problem? Number 36. What did the man probably do yesterday? Number 37. What will the woman most likely do next? Questions 38 through 40 refer to the following conversation. Where is Mr. Robin? He was supposed to come to my office at 11 a.m. to talk about interviewing the final applicants and to discuss a time for the new employee orientation, but he didn't show up. He still might be in the budget meeting, which started an hour ago. Try calling his cell phone. I did, but he didn't answer. Maybe he doesn't have his phone with him right now. Anyway, if you see him, please tell him that I'm free until 3.30. I have to meet a client after that. Number 38. What were the woman and Mr. Robin planning to do? Number 39. How did the woman try to contact Mr. Robin? Number 40. What is the woman's schedule? Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. I just heard that a 10.30 meeting is scheduled for Tuesday. I didn't know. Yes, we're going to talk about our sales plans and take some time to meet the new assistant manager who's starting next week. I had no idea it was on Tuesday when I made an appointment with an important client. I think it'll be at least 11 o'clock before I get back to the office. Oh, that's okay. You won't miss that much being 30 minutes late. Just make sure you let the other people know. Don't worry. If there is any important thing, I'll let you know. Thank you, guys. Number 41. What day is the meeting scheduled for? Number 42. Who will most likely be introduced in the meeting? Number 43. What is the woman worried about? Go on to the next page. Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. Welcome to Brooks. Are you ready to order? This is my first time here, so what would you recommend for a dinner? Well, we have a delicious mushroom soup today, and the grilled chicken is very good too. Can I take your order now, or do you need a few more minutes? I think I need a few more minutes to decide, if you don't mind. But could you please bring me some water while I am deciding what else to get? Number 44. Where most likely are the speakers? Number 45. What does the woman ask the man to do? Number 46. What will the woman probably do next? Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. Good afternoon. Thank you for calling Wilson Law Firm. This is Monica. 
Hi, Monica. This is Carl from Wholesale Office Supplies. I am returning your call about the broken copy machine in your shop. I can come by and fix it tomorrow afternoon if that's okay. Actually, I have quite a few documents that I need to copy as soon as possible. Is there any chance you could come this afternoon? Hmm. I could probably fit you in sometime late this afternoon. I'll call you about 30 minutes before I get there. Okay. Thank you. See you then. Number 47. Who most likely is the man? Number 48. When will the man probably visit the shop? Number 49. What is the woman's problem? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Kelly. How's your new house search going? I've been looking at so many houses, but they're all expensive. I can't afford to live in this area. Some of my colleagues have had luck with finding reasonably priced apartments in this local paper. Maybe you should try it. I will give it to you. I have to try anything. Thanks for the help. Number 50. What are the speakers discussing? Number 51. What problem does the woman mention? Number 52. What does the man suggest? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. Kevin, can you check the quarterly net profit and expenditure records just to make sure everything's all right before the final financial meeting next week? I'm afraid I can't right now. I've scheduled a medical check-up in 30 minutes, so I've got to get going. Can it wait until tomorrow morning? Oh, I'll be out of town tomorrow. I'll just send you a copy by email. Take a look when you have time. That'll be great. I'll probably read it tomorrow. So let's get together when you get back in town to talk about it. Number 53. What are the speakers talking about? Number 54. Why does the man say, I'm afraid I can't right now. Number 55. What will the man probably do tomorrow? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. Excuse me, do you work here? I'm looking for Jenny Kim's office. Sure. It's right up to the secretary's office. The security guard directed me this way, but I still can't find it. Come with me. I'll show you where it is. Are you a new lawyer? No, I've just hired your law firm to do the legal work for my publishing company. Jenny and I are going to talk about provisions of the contract today. Oh, you must be Daniel Radcliffe. I am Caroline Selico, Jenny's assistant. I'll be working with Jenny in charge of this work. Number 56. What does the man mean when he says, Excuse me, do you work here? Number 57. Who is Jenny Kim? Number 58. Why has the man probably come to see Ms. Kim? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. The printer called. The invitations to next month's conference will be ready on Wednesday. That's great. That gives us a couple of days to get them addressed before we have to send them out on Monday. Right. And then we could get responses from clients in about two weeks. That's good to hear. We have more than enough time to get everything prepared. By the way, did you check the design and colour? 
Sure. They sent me a sample by email this morning. Here you are. Great. What do you think about it? I like it too. Number 59. When will the invitations be mailed? Number 60. What do the people say about the preparation time? Number 61. What are the invitations being made for? Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation. Hello, you've reached Mary Park at Well Life Investment Group. May I help you? Yes, I am Leonard Frederick from Electromecha Corporation. I want to transfer $20,000 from our long-term account to the short-term account, please. Certainly, sir. What's the account number for your long-term account? 83990. And by the way, I would appreciate it if you could schedule the transaction for next Monday, not right away. Number 62. What kind of company does the woman work for? Number 63. Why is the man calling? Number 64. What does the woman require? Go on to the next page. Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation and itinerary. Hi, Carl. Have you made your express train reservations for the Filmmakers Festival in Madrid yet? I was hoping we could travel to Madrid together. In fact, I was just looking into that now. I'm planning to go on Tuesday and stay until Friday. How about you? I can't stay the whole time because I have to make a keynote speech at a convention on Thursday. We can still go together to Madrid on Tuesday, though. I have to meet my clients in France. Oh, really? You're still busy with your work. Number 65. What is the conversation about? Number 66. When will the speakers travel together? Number 67. Look at the graphic. Where will the woman deliver a speech? Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation and chart. Hi, Beth. This is John, your editor at Good Health Magazine. Are you busy now? Hi, John. I have a minute. Good. Could you increase the word count for your childhood eating disorder treatment article to 3,000 words? Sure. There's plenty to cover on the topic. But can you wait for a second? I have to check my schedule. Sure. Oh, my goodness. I have another article due on the same day. Can you send me your assignment chart right now? Okay. I sent it. Did you get it? Thank you. I got it. Well, let's extend the deadline for your other assignment by the end of this month. Great. I appreciate it, John. Number 68. Who most likely is the woman? Number 69. What does the man ask the woman to do? Number 70. Look at the graphic. Which article's deadline will be changed? Part 4. Directions. You will hear some talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each talk. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The talks will not be printed in your textbook. 
and will be spoken only one time. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following talk. Good morning, I'm Steve Harris, and I'll be leading the training class on Internet security. I've worked on security-related issues in the computer industry for the past 15 years, and I've given a workshop like this for the past two years. First, I'm going to spend some time today giving you a general overview of security problems faced by the banking industry. For most of this week, I'll be showing you how to set up a website that is safe for customers to use. Number 71. What is the purpose of the talk? Number 72. Who is Steve Harris? Number 73. What will the audience do? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following telephone message. Hello, I'm leaving this message for Miss Kansas Hennington. This is Dr. Bronker's receptionist, Tandra. I'm just calling to remind you one more time about your 3 o'clock appointment next Monday. If you don't think you can make it, please call me before this Thursday. The checkup usually takes about 40 minutes, but there are some forms you need to fill out before meeting the doctor. So we ask you to be here 15 minutes early. And do not forget your medical insurance card. We'll see you then. Thank you. Number 74. Who is leaving the message? Number 75. When is the scheduled appointment? Number 76. Why should Kansas Hennington arrive early? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following telephone message. Hi, Mr. Franco. This morning I saw your Help Wanted ad on a bulletin board at the West Community Centre. I am Kelly O'Connor and I'm interested in employment as the head chef of the Centre View Hotel. I graduated from the French cooking school six years ago and have served as the head cook at a downtown restaurant. I'm sure I would be an asset to your restaurant. I wanted to send a resume but your address was torn off of the ad. Please call me back at 245-1766 with the hotel address so that I can send you a copy of my resume. Thank you for your time. Number 77. Why is the woman leaving the message? Number 78. Where does Mr. Franco most likely work? Number 79. Why is Kelly O'Connor asking Mr. Franco to call her back? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following radio advertisement. Are you ready to gather your belongings and leave? We will help you make your trip more convenient with our new Featherlight luggage. Our latest suitcase design is not only the lightest in the current market, but is also strong and long-lasting. We do admit that our products are relatively expensive compared to our competitors, but we guarantee that you will be 100% satisfied after using our suitcases. We not only offer a full refund if not satisfied, we also give a bonus gift to the first 100 people purchasing online, a luxurious leather briefcase perfect for a laptop computer. Visit us now at featherlightsuitcase.com to receive this special offer. It is time to bid farewell to your old heavy suitcases. Number 80. What is mentioned about Featherlight suitcases? Number 81. What gift is being offered?
Number 82. How can people receive a gift? Go on to the next page. Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following telephone message. Hi, Michael. It's Melissa Kenyard, the property manager of Red Brick Apartments. An apartment with four rooms that matches your request has just become available. It's quite spacious, and both the security system and heat are included in the rent. As you are already aware, the apartment building is near downtown, so restaurants and shopping malls are easily accessible. A fitness club is conveniently located on the first floor of the building. Please call me right away if this meets your needs. You can move in as early as next week, but I need to know as soon as possible if you are interested. I bet this apartment won't be available for long. Thank you. Number 83. What is true about the apartment? Number 84. What is mentioned as being located inside the building? Number 85. Why does the speaker say, Please call me right away if this meets your needs? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following announcement. Last but not least, government officials are suggesting that all New Zealanders help conserve the country's energy. The weather has been extremely hot for the past few weeks. And many electric companies are reporting a dramatic increase in the use of energy. Current temperatures are predicted to continue for the next few days, and all citizens are asked to limit their use of unnecessary electricity in order to avoid power outages. Yes, I know that's not enough. To help our listeners with this, we have made a list of methods to avoid using unessential energy. Visit the website at www.nzealandnews.nz for these conservation tips. Number 86. What will most likely happen in the next few days? Number 87. What does the man mean when he says, Yes, I know that's not enough? Number 88. What can be found at the mentioned website? Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following excerpt from a talk. As you must realize, we've been arranging computer classes for our employees to take at Madison University. The classes are totally free of charge, yet, a lot of employees in each of your departments said that they just can't understand how these lessons will help them achieve higher salaries or promotions, and they have refused to attend. As supervisors, we are quite sure that it takes time to see the actual benefits of this additional education. We believe that more people would be interested in taking the courses if they were more convenient. Therefore, we are considering asking Madison University professors to come to the office to conduct classes. What an opportunity! How could you miss this? Number 89. Why are many employees refusing the courses? Number 90. What does the speaker suggest? Number 91. Why does the speaker say, How could you miss this? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following recorded message and itinerary. Good morning, Mr. Newman. This is Jennifer McMillan. Thank you for giving Happy Travel the opportunity to make your travel arrangements for your trip to Italy. We are confident that you will be very satisfied with the destinations and accommodations we chose for you. 
we reserved a special tour of an authentic Italian restaurant and shopping centers for your stay in Milan because you mentioned that your family was interested in Italian cooking and fashion. As promised, we did not charge you for these activities. We recommend that you review the enclosed itinerary. If you have any questions or would like to make any changes, please contact me anytime. We look forward to hearing from you and hope that you could give us the opportunity to help you plan your next vacation or business trip. Thank you. Number 92. Why most likely does Mr. Newman visit Italy? Number 93. Look at the graphic. Where will Mr. Newman and his family stay on the day they take a special tour of an authentic Italian restaurant? Number 94. What is mentioned about happy travel? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting and a chart. Attention, everyone! Here's the breakdown of last quarter's automobile market shares. We're still among the top four companies, but we need to pay attention to RUF's rapid growth. They just surpassed us. We're not that far behind with 19%, though. However, we need to keep up. Until last year, RUF was one of the smallest companies in this area. We have to develop new business models. Now, RUF offers car parts and some video games free of charge, and Mercury gives a 10% discount for cash. These business approaches could help us attract new users. So, next month, we're going to try it out with some of our existing vehicles to see if we can grow beyond a 20% market share. Number 95. What industry does the speaker work in? Number 96. Look at the graphic. What company does the speaker work for? Number 97. According to the speaker, what will the company do next month? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following telephone message and order form. Hello, Ms. Davis. This is Kimberly from Denim Apparel. Thank you for your order number 6452341. You will find red cardigans missing in your order. Currently, it is on back order. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. As a token of gratitude for your total order, we have included a gift. It is a gift worth $180 given to you free of charge. Included with your order, we have also enclosed our company's catalog with the new Winter Seasons clothing line. You will find that Denim Apparel has expanded its selection with additional accessories, such as jewelry and shoes. Once again, thank you for shopping with Denim Apparel, your number one online clothing company. Number 98. Which item from the options is most likely not sold by Denim Apparel? Number 99. Look at the graphic. Which item was not ordered by Ms. Davis originally? Number 100. How was the order placed? This is the end of the listening test. Turn to part 5 in your test book.